while this is dead air, should we pause the recording or stop it? Looks like we have a few people here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the distribution maintainers meeting for the week of May 23rd. And first item on the agenda, uh, we have some topics from Jason. Jason, take it away. First off, this agenda is 76 pages and counting. Uh, it is time to do an archive and move on. Um, anytime we get past even 50 pages, it starts to become problematic. Anyone either on mobile or a questionable connection. And uh, yeah, in terms of, of process improvement, let's go ahead and get that. Next thing is, as I mentioned yesterday in our distribution week call, uh, we have decided on the maintainers who will fill in while I am out and assist DJ and Balu and Robert throughout the other projects. Um, I say that because we are we do have two op maintainers in the operator while I'm away, so that won't be a problem. Now, so for the drum roll per se. Mitch will be filling in in the charts uh, to take care of anything that's absolutely required and make sure that everything goes smoothly through this release. In the CNG, we will actually have two people in coverage. We'll have Hussein and Robert. Um, the LDR here is I've already spoken to Mitch and I will talk to Robert and Hussein in the next few days. This where everybody weigh on what's what to look for, what we're watching out for, and Mike, sorry. Um That's pretty much the gist. I went ahead and spoke to the other maintainers and the projects to make sure everybody's on the same page and we're all in agreement. Sounds good. Did anyone have any other topics they wanted to bring up in the maintainers meeting or uh, maintainers discussion issues? If not, we can just quickly touch on the same note as always. There's a, a, a link to the list of maintainers discussion issues uh, to take a look at uh, async. Um, it doesn't look like any uh, new ones have been uh, created in the uh in the last uh, two weeks here uh, but there are quite a few there that are still ongoing uh recent discussion of course being the uh, nginx replacement uh issue as well has um has an item in there to keep your eyes on uh over to what was merged in the last two weeks here jason you had uh, some of the first ones here with the helm charts right uh, so obviously the, the first one is one we had a few hiccups on, and that is the geo database being moved to the decomposition model and including geo as a part of database.yml. And there were a few changes that needed to be made in the charts, and then a few changes that turned out to need to be made inside of the CNG as well. Uh, those have all been squared away. Uh, short answer is long track record. We want to have a centralized versus a complex set of multiple files. Uh, the next one that I have here is dependency scanning. Dependency scanning has been added to the CNG. Uh, there are a couple of interesting things bouncing around on that one. First off, we don't actually have a lot of dependencies declared for this process. So while it's added, it doesn't actually do anything. Um, I am trying to find the link. To the MR, but we also recently pulled in uh, security scanning into the charts. That security scanning is failing randomly for an error code of 128. We're trying to, to discover why. So as soon as I have that, I will let you know. Uh, Robert, you have the only thing in the, or only thing I see in the omnibus. Yeah, so 
only one thing of note, of, really of note. Lots, lots of cleanup in the last two weeks, but the thing of note is the, the last vestiges of Geo as not part of the uh, main database configuration. So it's a little more weird now, really on the Did anyone else get garbled, or was it just me? No, it's pretty garbled. Okay. Robert, we had a bit of an issue hearing you, and your mic came kind of in and then warbled out and back and forth. Okay, let's try that one more time. So the only thing that we had on the last two weeks that's uh, very notable is that as 15.0, we have removed the last vestiges of Geo having its own database CLI. So we had transitioned over, but we did the last bit to remove the old pieces. So we are now fully really over as of And back over to the next operator. Two quick call outs. Um, Hussein's doing some major refactoring of the packages to sort things out a bit better and uh, kind of leverage some interfaces to make the package structure a little bit better. Um, and then the second one is in the GitLab docs. Um, Axel helped us out with making an update to that page uh, in the past, about a day ago, if you would go to docs.gitlab.com and scroll to the bottom to install in Kubernetes, it would take you directly to the charts page. Now that link takes you to the Cloud Native GitLab page, which offers you and explains the difference between the Helm charts and the operator and provides the links there. So previously, the path to the operator was a little bit uh, lacking because you would click directly into the charts and the operator would be over in the left-hand pane there. So this should help a little bit with discoverability. That's it. Thanks everyone. Uh, is there any other topics or anything else anyone wanted to bring up for the maintainer discussion? If not, I think that's it. Thanks everyone. Talk to you in two weeks.